The Russian economy has shown solid growth in many sectors while unemployment remains at a record low. New data showed on Wednesday prompting officials to hint at a bigger outlook for the year despite Western sanctions over the war in Ukraine. Driven by military production, industrial output rose by 3.3% in July compared with a 2.7% increase the previous month and by 4.8% since the start of the year compared with 3.1% growth in the same period in 2023. A preliminary estimate for gross domestic product GDP growth in the first year in the first half of the year stood at 4.6% compared with 1.8% for the same period at a year. Officials attributed this growth to strong capital investment including by the private sector which in the second quarter rose by 8.3% year on year to 8.44 trillion rubles, $92 billion, following 14.5% growth in the first quarter of the year. Given such high results in the first half of the year, we expect even higher figures for the entire year of 2024 than we had initially projected in the economic forecast published in April, said Polena Kruchukovu, Deputy Economic Minister. The data suggested the economy has was holding up despite Western economic sanctions and problems with international payments with Russia's major trading partners, such as China, which led to a 9% fall in overall imports in the first half of the year. However, they also pointed to overheating, which forced the central bank to hike its benchmark interest rate by 200 basis points to 18% in July, the highest level in more than two years. The central bank said persistent labor shortages and the wage growth, as well as a higher inflation, were the main signs of an overheated economy and promised to maintain tighter monetary policy and fight inflation until it is until it cools. New statistics show that real wages rose 6.2% year on year in June, following an 8.8% increase in the previous month, while average nominal wages rose 15.3% year on year to rubles in a month. Wages growth in Russia is being spurred by payouts handed to contract soldiers fighting in Ukraine, which have become a new benchmark in the economy as workers in fast-growing sectors facing acute labor shortages demand similar pay from employers. In the first half of the year, rest, real wages grew by 9.4%, while nominal wages increased by 18.1% compared with the same period in 2023, according to the new data. Unemployment remained at a historical low level of 1.9 million people in July, or 2.4% of the workforce. So, but there's another thing they are leaving behind in this. Another thing is that the BRICS de-dollarization agenda, in which Russia is signing bilateral agreements with other BRICS members, doing businesses or settling trades in their local currency, equally help Russia in terms of growing of its economy because this de-dollarization agenda helped Russia's economy massively when you leak deeper because they are trading with other currencies, using their local currencies, dodging using the US dollar or the euro, which is helping them a whole lot.